this one out more often, yes? yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it moved pretty well. Yeah, it does. It, well, moved, it moved pretty you well. rubber with it. No, it's running top notch. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have our friend Dennis Roxworthy. And Dennis is bringing a car that you've had since how long? Since 1986. Since 1986 he's had this car. And this is probably one of the finer Thunderbirds uh, in the world, maybe. Go ahead, tell them what year, make, and model. It's a 1960 convertible. It's kind of special because it's got the rear optional 430 Lincoln motor. It's a 430 cubic inch, 350 horsepower. And it's a red convertible. So you got two J codes, J for red, for the Rangoon red, and then J for the engine code. So they call it double J. Double J. Yeah. So, so let's take a look at double J. So let's start in the back. Come on with me, Dennis. Now you uh, shared that one of the reasons why you wanted to get this car was why? Well, my dad had a white hardtop, brand new. We talked him into buying a Thunderbird. And, uh, we meaning you and your brother. Me and my brother, yeah. And uh, he was going to buy a station wagon. My mom would never permit it. After she died, he wanted to buy a wagon. We talked him into a, a new Thunderbird. So. <laughs> Slight upgrade. So, and I always loved my dad's car. I drove it in high school. Now this one's solid. That's solid because you open the trunk. Yeah. It's a power trunk. Now we're, uh, people can check out your hardtop, and right. that actually moves because that opens. Right. And you're going to see why this back is solid um, in just a second. I'm going to actually have the top up on it, and then we'll pull it down. You can see the dual exhaust from here. So, matter of fact, while I'm showing these great fins that you'll see here, let's take just a moment and show you what the top looks like coming down. Yeah, that's pretty slick for sure. And we're back. So let me show this car from the side. And they call these the square birds. Yeah, they made them three years. 58 was the first year, and this is the last of them. Three year car. The big motor. The big engine. So let's just show, first of all, this nice bullet cue here with the wonder, wonderful Thunderbird script and the wonderful, I'm almost going to call it ornaments there. We have these nice little cues on the quarter. The wonderful, we're getting a little wind here, the wonderful mirrors. Now you can kind of see through that mirror. You can't adjust that mirror from your hand. Yeah, their hand, uh, they didn't have remote mirrors. And you're definitely there. not adjusting that mirror. <laughs> no, they're more of an ornament than they are function. Right. And talk about a great windshield. Just this pure wraparound that this one has here. So let me try to give you a little more of that design from the top, from the front. and from the driver's side. Just wonderful. We'll get to these fender ornaments that you could see through as well and we'll turn the car around. Before we do that let's go to the interior. 
Now we've got, because we can't get to the trunk as you've seen, we've got some trunk and treats in the car. So here's what this car would have went for. That's a lot of money back then. Yeah, when a Falcon cost 1800 the same year Falcon, a plain Jane Falcon would have cost you 1800 And I think the base price, if you look at it, this was 4200 without any options. Yeah, well they're calling it Monte Carlo Red. I know. Yeah, Monte Carlo Red. Monte Carlo Red. And one of the interesting things we have in the trunk and treats for this one is the buyer's digest of new car facts. We've got the colors here, although I don't see Monte Carlo red. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I do. And not only that, but it's kind of glazing out at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our Thunderbird, the most wanted car. It looks like... Um, the woman in the blue bonnet here. It was like a, I remember a, wasn't there a butter that had something, a blue bonnet or something like that? Blue bonnet butter. A yeah. blue bonnet butter. And let me just show you some of the interior of this one. There's your actual car. Right, that is the car. And uh, that was probably you back in the day with the suit and a couple <laughs> yeah, of girls there with you, yeah, there you right go. at the golf course and a couple of... Different color top yeah, on. Yeah, different color top on, right, yeah. There's the black one. <laughs> Talks about the top disappears completely. And then here's the... Um, getting ready for the ball, mm -hmm. the junior league. I missed the page, which I'll share with you. Only carve its charm in the world. Yeah, that's a great idea. We'll just open that, that front seal. Room. Yeah. The Thunderbird hardtop. We've gone through this page. We'll share with you this one. You know, it shows how much room is in the car because clearly, you know, it is actually quite. Well, it says dashing as a sports car and comfortable as a limousine. There's a comfort, there's that Thunderbird there, our Thunderbird here. And you can see this is quite the cozy car. The You shared this with me on your hardtop that it right. did have a sunroof option for some of them. Mm -hmm. I actually have one with a, hard, a sunroof option on the channel. There's your Thunderbird power seat. Performs like a T-Bird at the highest praise you can give any car. And here's your here's your engine in this one. Now, I'll just note, look at look at the top picture of the engine. Yeah. No blue, no yellow valve covers, but look at the bottom picture. That is correct. That's interesting. Isn't right? that interesting? Yeah, I'm glad I just you noticed said that. that. Right. And how many times, you know, we see these things this many times, so it came with the 352, which oh, is in your hardtop. Oh, that's the 430 top. engine. That's yeah, this is the 430. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the 352 is here. And the 430 is on top. And the 430 is here. Okay. And this is the fun part of the channel, as you just kind of go and learn at the same time. Mm -hmm. Nobody loves the Thunderbird more than the people who drive it. That's great stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Showing your customers. Here's your colors. Mm -hmm. All the different ways of doing it. 15 luxury lounge interiors. And it just shows all the different patterns and cues, etc. Interesting how they'd show them like that. Here's your engines. Really good. Very, very good. And the last page, the forward motor division. So now we'll show you, we'll start in the back because you can see this nice console up the middle. And the nice thing is we can show the interior from here. Let's uh, open the door, shall we? Sure. Oh, 
a wonderful design there, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> it really is good yeah. stuff. As you're greeted to the Thunderbird logo, there's your power seat that you saw as an option. Let me show you the wonderful buckets. Kind of an interesting piece right here. This cue right here. All the way it overlaps for the yeah. for the weather strip that goes around here. Right. It tucks into here. Yeah, it tucks that right in really nice. Mm -hmm. we'll take you right to there. And then we have our pedals. The power steering. Really like that arrow, brightly colored needles. Needles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. There's our top button, our wipers, our lighter. Lord Thunderbird. You have your Thunderbird script there. Just want to come back to that radio for just a second. Look at some, all the fine details there. Mm -hmm the off button as it's pushed, so not an off button. And then you have this magic air system. Notice you have this light and then the Ford Magic Air. With your ashtray and the word power brake. Yeah, Den you Dennis, the what's... Back to too. See it, Lou? What's that? In the back of the console is another ashtray. Oh, is that right? You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here. Yeah. Got it. Dennis, what is this right here? That's for the windshield washers. Windshield you washers. You push that button, it, it squirts juice out on the windshield. Got it. Okay. It should be right. Yeah, you'll see a little. Yeah, little I see chrome it right thing, see there. It? Yeah. Well, I focused in on it. All right, we're going to actually turn this one around so okay. we can put it in the sun for you. All right, so here's the front of this car. And it's got that big, wide mouth. Just looks like it's going to swallow you. You've got the crosshairs there and there. And these, I call them almost like bottom teeth mm -hmm. coming out the bumperettes there. And then that nice Thunderbird logo. And again, I'll discuss there's our fender ornaments that are clear, very classy. The hood scoop there. and the headlights defining the front. Dennis, let's uh, open the hood, shall we? Sure. And while you're doing that, I see the sun just came back out on it. So I'm gonna let people take that in. Nice. Our antenna. There we go, there's the monster. There we go. So here's the optional 430 with the black valve covers distinguishing it, it as such. If you want to take a look at Dennis's other car, you can take a look at the 1960 Ford Thunderbird hardtop. You'll see the yellow valve covers with the 352, but you'll notice he has all of the correct information there. And you can see the lights helping us right there, right in the fender, you can see that. All of our documentation. I'm going to actually show this side. And I'm going to go on the other side for a moment. Notice this grill is functional, that's open. Yeah, it lets fresh air in the engine compartment. Tell me what this little piece over by the air... What's that little permanent antifreeze this? Well, that tank? Yeah. Well, that's an extra reservoir because the oh, really? slope of the hood 
the radiator, they couldn't make the radiator big enough, so they added an auxiliary tank to put antifreeze in. So Is it's an overflow right? tank, yeah. Otherwise it would overheat. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, and, and they did it on, on the galaxies also because of the low slope of the hood. Windshield reservoir. The other thing you won't see on the 352 engine, yeah. they didn't put this ductwork on the 352. Okay. You'd have this, yeah. but you wouldn't have this piece down here. And it because of the way this engine's built, it has to be preheated more so than the other car. Really? It's for heat. Interesting. Alright, let's uh I noticed too we have the two entry pieces there to, to get mm -hmm. into the car. Alright, let's uh, fire it up, shall okay. we? Sure. Mr. Cylinder. Smooth. Isn't it smooth? Yeah, what a highway cruiser, right? Oh, this thing will do 120. <laughs> That's quite the bird. That's quite the bird. There's our uh, tail lights. Let me listen to it. Uh, just idle. Go ahead, give it a rev. One more time, we'll blow all the carbon out of it. Been running a while. No, we're getting smoked out. <laughs> yeah, we're getting smoked out back there. Good stuff. All right, let's uh, let's take it for a cruise. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Before I, one other thing I noticed too. Oh, for the to the top. We get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna feature that. Yeah. You come over here. Yeah, go ahead. You shut that. I'll feature this. There we go. And that fits back in there. And that tips up. Let's see. Okay, before I jump in, and since the sun's hitting, I do want to show those wheel covers because I thought they were really, really sharp. And I'll also show you with the parking lights on. Very stylish look. Let's go for a ride. We'll be right back. Unless you want to ride in the back. <laughs> okay. Well, another fun time riding in one of your great cars. Thank you, Will. My pleasure. And I can see right off the bat, this is comfortable. Oh, it's a very comfortable car. These are... I mean, I drove my dad's car to California back and I wasn't even tired. Yeah. I mean, well, I was a lot younger then. I was a teenager. <laughs> Regardless, though, I mean... Yeah, it's smooth. Th this is really a... Uh, I almost want to call it a, a Bonneville or a Boulevard Cruiser is what I'm yeah, trying to think of. That's what I would describe it. It's a very heavy car. It's a unibody car, but everything's double sheet metal. These things are strong. The Ford really knew what they were doing when they built this baby. Yeah, it really feels... It's one of my, in my collection, this is one of my favorite cars. This one I would not give up. Really? Yeah. Because of the sentiment towards your family? Well, and just, I, the... I just love the style of this thing. I mean, yeah. I, the, you know, it's like an airplane. <laughs> a little house to put it. You know, you, you like a car, you like a car, right? Yeah. Like an Air Force Thunderbird. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You feel yeah. how good that thing shifts? Oh, it's great. You can show people a little of this. Well, we're in Illinois, but you wouldn't know that from where we're at. I mean, it's just a perfect day. Might as well be in any nice warm state. It's got a little get up, but it's very, uh, very, very sedated. Very sedated. Yeah, it's not like some of the muscle cars right. that you have and things like that. Well, it's quiet. You got these 
big mufflers under there to make this car quiet. This has got to be something that, uh, you know, that the wife just loves driving. She I loves the blue car. Yeah, this is this is something that you could just enjoy. Sure. Well, Dennis, what a treat. Always so much fun getting a chance to drive in one of your cars, let alone this one. I know that it's usually uh, uh, doesn't come out too often. No. So thanks for sharing it on the channel, and thanks for uh, giving us a chance to be on My Car Story with you. You're welcome, Lou. It was nice being with you. Thanks.